Yay, I broke it. Well, I broke most of it off. What's up, YouTube? Today we're replacing an ABS sensor on a Subaru. And uh, to be specific, that is the driver's rear. Okay, it's a pretty easy thing to do. I mean, the hardest part is probably getting it out of the spindle in the rear. But I'll give, sh I'll give you some tricks to figure that out. Okay, so first, I'm gonna go in. You see the seat? Got these uh, two little uh, hanging, I don't know what to call them, a uh, bracket of some sort. I don't know, but it's got two 12 millimeter bolts, one on each side, and it just comes up. And then right underneath, you'll find your ABS wire plug. Now, uh, let me find the... Once I get this out, I'll show you the trick to doing it because you need to poke it with a screwdriver. You can't just squeeze it with your fingers, even though it looks like you can. Yeah, uh, once I get it out, I'll show you guys. Okay, so... I guess the first step is to take this bolt out wherever it may be. This is broken. What? Yeah, there's supposed to be a bolt right where my finger is. And I guess the guy broke the sensor trying to change it before. Um, geez. Yeah, these can be quite a struggle. I mean, I took 20 minutes, half hour trying to wiggle this one out of the junkyard. I got it out in one piece and it's still working. But I guess let's get started. Okay, so this is your ABS sensor. And unfortunately, the guy before me has uh, basically worn out all my options of wiggling it out. I'm going to try for a, a bit with the screwdriver kind of try to wiggle it out trying every direction I can see if I see any movement if not I'm gonna probably end up taking out apart the brakes and smacking it through with a punch it'll also help if you spray some penetrating oil on it just around here where it goes into the spindle I will try for a bit well, that's not cool that band is bent on the CE boot just noticed that yeah it looks like it's holding on pretty well Okay, for the method for prying, I just go under here, I twist the screwdriver, see it move a little bit, go underneath, from here, do the same thing, I see it move a little bit, come up here, when you do this, start out really gentle, okay, take your time. At it for about 10 minutes now and I can get my screwdriver under it. I'll pry up a little bit on that side and then go on this side, push it back down, pry over and over. Keep working it. Okay, so I'm, I'm done struggling with that ABS sensor. I'm gonna just take apart the brakes. Top one. And down here is the rear one. Bracket bolts are supposed to be pretty damn tight. Okay, but oh my god. Just moving on, I'll get this bolt out. If your lip on your rotor isn't that bad, take them off halfway so the pads are half contacting and then just kind of twist the rotor a little bit. Um, yeah, anyways, so I got lucky this time, it's just gonna come off. Now, when you take it off, you're gonna notice there's another set of brake pads underneath, and that's your emergency brake. So uh, if, if this outer portion here just fails or like comes off, which I've seen. Okay, so it's right here. Um, I'm gonna have to get a smaller punch for that. Yay, I broke it. Well, I broke most of it off, so I'm gonna try to punch the rest through the front. There's a little uh, thing here. I can probably pry it off and break it, and that'll give me the clearance I need to run the rest through. This is not ideal, but you know, at least uh, you're getting somewhat of a walkthrough for what happens when it does go wrong. And it does go wrong. Okay, so if you do happen to do it the way I did, there's the little inside piece that's gonna break off and fall inside, and there's not quite enough clearance to get it out. So what I did is, uh, you don't have to use side cutters, but you can pry against the hub face right here and push the the shoe out a little bit. I'm not gonna show you right now, otherwise this will probably just fall back in, but I got it right there. It's just enough space. You just need a couple more millimeters, and then you got it. See, I hammered this and bent it so I'd have a little bit more clearance so that it wouldn't smack against this tone ring on the back of the hub face. Just a little bit of clearance. Hopefully you don't have to do it this way. Air plug. Now, um, let me find 
Okay, so it's got this little thing. Poke right here. Poke it. Plug comes out. Okay, so we got two bolts holding the the bracket that's attached to the wire. So we'll get one right here. Okay, if it's coming out super hard, you can go back in and kind of sadden the threads down. There we go. That side's free. See this bracket for the e-brake line is separate. It's held down by the same bolt. And now for this one, I'll need to use my ratchet for that. Gotta get this out first. There we go. Put it in my pile of bolts. It's just like a puzzle, a five piece puzzle. I'm doing, we'll know in a minute. If it gets to a point where it snaps the bracket, I'm gonna have to cut the bolt out and find a new bolt. Yeah, there's also another bolt up in there that you have to get that I forgot about by the fuel lines. That won't be too hard. Maybe I'll spray it with some WD-40 and... Okay, so that bolt, it's up in here. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm gonna struggle off. All right, here we have our new O2 sensor. Oh. New is not the best word, but it's here. <laughs> it's a pretty strong magnet. <laughs> All right, so the routing for this wire, this goes over the control arm. Yeah, here's my uh, 13 mil bolt for the O2 sensor that was custom. Oh, thought I threaded it in with my fingers. Get it to a point where you can start using the wrench. There we go. Yeah. One of the hardest O2 sensors I've ever done. Anyways, I uh, just wanted to show you that I was putting this bolt in. The last sensor is, uh, I could tell that the guy spun it. Like, the, the, see the wires coming out facing the camera right now. Uh, when I started this video, it was pointing like, straight up. So, somebody tried to get it out at one point failed but whatever we got it this time I win there we go all tight nice now just the three bolts that go up here the one that's sharing the bracket for the e-brake line the one that goes through the top of the control arm here and then the one that's up in there you'll have to I think that'll probably be the the hardest bolt to get up in there, kind of lines up right there. So, um, yeah, well, you push this bracket up in there, it kind of lines up. So, uh, this, this will go on this side. Let's see, the, the wire goes on this side. Okay, I'll be back. It's kind of hard to film and do that at the same time.